Okay, everybody. Is everybody ready to meet Tate? Everybody excited? Come on, he's got to hear it. He's louder than that. Get loud. Come on. Show him how much we love him. Yeah. Come on, one more time. Way loud. Uh oh, he ain't coming. Tate Stevens! Come on! Louder! Louder! Come on! Can you go louder? I guess he can't hear yins. I don't know. What is up? Uh oh! Here he comes! Here comes Tate! Everybody excited? How's everybody doing? Good. Talk. Say how's everybody, you know. How's everybody doing? We're good. Oh. It's just me. How's Tate? I'm all right. I'm doing good. Doing good. Fighting the cold, but we're doing all right. Um, first off, what's that? Good to be in Yeah, well, it is always good to be here. Uh, first off, for, for everybody who, uh, I know Tracy works really hard, Bobby and them work really hard uh, on the Facebook page, and, and guys, uh, for me, that's really big, and, and uh, because I need all the help I can get, obviously, I mean, we're really busy, I don't have time to do a lot of that stuff, so they do a great job uh, with that. Everybody who's... And Joe, yes, and and I know I'm gonna forget people's names and stuff like that, but listen, yeah, that's awesome. They do a great job. They kill it. Um, another, the other thing with this is with the Facebook thing, and and I, I don't I don't think of uh, you guys as fans so much. I, I think we're more friends, and and because you know, although I don't know much about I don't know about much about you guys. Uh, you guys know a lot about me. Um, it, which is which is fine, but just know uh, know that it is so appreciated what you guys do when you guys go out and you, and you you know you, you retweet stuff and you, and you post pictures and all that and all the all the things that you do. Just know that you know it, it means the world to me and, and everybody in our camp. Um, you guys are the reason that we get to do this. So. Uh, you know, I, it's 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 one of those things for us that we can't thank you enough. You guys keep the bus wheels rolling. You guys are the reason you buy tickets, you buy shirts, you buy CDs, you buy that stuff, and that's how we continue to do what we do. Okay. So, uh, with that said, thank you so very much for everything you've done for me and my family. If I haven't if I haven't got to meet you before, if you haven't been to a show before. And this will be your first show tonight. Uh, I hope you like it. Um, we're going to play some new stuff. We have a lot of new music. We're going to play some new music uh, and play some stuff off the first CD. Um, and just we're going to have fun. We kind of laid back and, you know, we're going to, I have, we have fun when we step off the bus. So hopefully you guys have as much fun as we do tonight. Um, and then after the show, uh, we'll be, I'll be, doing pictures and autographs and stuff like that after the show uh, until everybody's gone. I'll be here until everyone leaves. So um, if you don't get something today right now uh, and you you can stay to after the show, just know that I'll be there doing all of it until you know everybody has had something signed or had a picture or whatever. So with that said, y'all, yeah. Okay, yeah, you guys have... Okay, let's do this uh, pretty... If you have a question, anything like that, raise your hand. Jeremy will call on you. Uh, anything. Oh. Am I going to have a concert in Kansas City sometime? September the 6th, I will be at Kearney Amphitheater. Okay? 
that's just north of Kansas City, about 40 minutes, I guess. I, I don't know exactly where the amphitheater is up there, but I know it's beautiful. It's a great venue, so uh, we'll be up there. <laughs> Try to come to Western Canada. I don't know how many people know this, but Joanna, she's from near, near Calgary, Canada. She flew down for this show today. So... Uh, yeah, Lori from uh, Lori, Virginia. she's from Virginia here, and and like I said, I that a, as an artist um, and really just as a person, uh, for people to to I, I guess like me that much or like what I do that much, um, that's it, it's and, and, and please don't be uh, offended when I say this, but that's that's really weird to me. <laughs> No, and, and what I mean by that is because you know, I mean, I'm a I have, everybody loves George Strait, everybody loves Garth Brooks, you know, and I'm one of those fans. But I damn sure wouldn't have flown to Canada to, to see one of those guys. But um, like I said, it's because of you guys. That's that's why I get to do this. So because you're real. Real. Thank you, uh, and and you know, I mean, I I am who I am, and I, I that's, that's why we like you. So. Um, some other questions. Yeah, thank you. Any other questions? Anything? Anything? What's that? Next CD. The next CD. The, the when is the next album coming out? Or um, I don't know that. Uh, we recorded six new tunes and getting ready to go uh, record another one. But I don't know if there's an actual date. Like I, I'm sure it'll be the end of the year, first of the uh, first of next year, 2015. But as we get songs done. Um, I know on my website you can hear like two or three songs, I think, right? Um, and you t you will be able to download all that on iTunes shortly. I'm, I'm sure as as we kind of get more involved with the new stuff, we're going to start loading those to iTunes and all that. I have never considered a Christmas album. I would love to do a Christmas album. Um, th that's a lot of time and money, you know. I mean, when, down the road, maybe? Down the road, definitely. Oh, yeah, down the road. Uh, down the road, I would possibly even consider a gospel record yeah. just because I love that old stuff. I love old traditional hymns, so we might even do something like that later on down the road. Uh, any other questions? Um, how about a video? A video? Um, yeah. Oh, hey, I got to tell you. Uh, power, my, The Power of a Love Song video that was on GAC. Yes. Um, you guys voted it, and it stayed in the top ten. That's right. Listen, it's it stayed it stayed in the top ten for like almost three months. We voted twenty four seven. So, do you realize one month or one week we missed first place by an hour? Is that right? An hour. We lost it the last hour. Well, again. It's because of you. It's because of you I get to do this. And and things like that, that's what you guys, I mean, I, I can't, I can't, I can say thank you a hundred times to each one of you and it's still not going to be enough. Okay? So, <laughs> so we are, we are looking at shooting a video for Days Get Better. Um, I don't know when that'll happen, but we are looking to shoot a video for Days Get Better. Uh, so hopefully that happens. Um, you know, it's it's uh, it is that's above my pay grade, as they say, when that stuff happens. But any other questions? Okay, reality television. I learned um, reality TV. <laughs> I'm trying to photobomb your manager. Trying to teach me that. Sorry. Uh, reality, reality television. There's, there. The only th I say the only thing real on reality television are the people on it. Okay. Um, I was very fortunate. I was old enough and dumb enough not to fall into their traps. I think because a lot of the kids, a lot of the kids did, and 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 unfortunately it hurt a lot of those kids. Okay. Um, they wanted me to do a lot of things that I didn't do just because, well, you know, I'm kind of that person. You tell me to do something, and if I don't want to do it, I'm not going to do it. So, and and um, so 
for me, uh, I, I know they tried a lot. They tried to kind of make me say some things that I would well, I would have never said. Yeah, and, and to make me look one way or to make me do something that I would have never done. I would piss them off. And, and here's the thing. If you're ever on TV and you ever do any reality stuff or you ever get a chance to do it and they want you to say stuff and you don't want to say it, just start cussing. <laughs> and then they just stop. So, yeah. I mean, it's really, it's true. I mean, it's terrible, but it's true. But my experience on the show was great. Um, never had done anything like that before, but I learned quickly how the thing, how things went, and it's a game. And and you know, there was a lot of times that I would look at a situation we were going into, and I could I could kind of read it out and, and see what what they wanted before we got into that situation. Um, I don't know how many people remember Vino. From the show, yeah, uh, he's from Missouri. Uh, a good guy. Vino's a good dude. I will tell you, Vino fights a lot of demons. That guy had a lot of problems. He had a lot of drug issues. Still does, uh, but he's a good guy. Um, Vino was one of those ticking time bombs, and they knew it, and they could push his buttons. And I would tell him, we roomed together, and I said, Vino, stop. Don't let them get to you. They're just doing it for TV, because you're giving them ratings. And that's all they need. They're going to push you and push you and push you, and you're going to blow up. And they're going to get it all on film. It's going to be great, you know. And and he just couldn't. He couldn't not fall in there. So, but my overall my experience was great. I had I had a great time. Uh, it was a long time to be away from my family. Uh, I was there. I got I got to L.A. October the seventh. Yeah, October seventh. Um, and I flew home December 21st. Yeah. So we got home at midnight on the 21st. And uh, yeah, it was a long time. And, and I don't know how many people have ever been to LA, but if you've ever been there, you will probably hate it. Uh, I hate it. I don't like it. It's, it's crazy. It's fast paced. Things go real fast and I'm not a fast person. Uh, so, but the overall experience was amazing. And then obviously it led me to, to be able to do what I love to do. And so, yeah, it's great. Do you see that? Too much? Um, well, the, he asked why other singers, when they come, they stay on the bus, or you never really see them until it's showtime or whatever. Okay, there and and on their behalf, a lot of them are tired. Uh, you know, you know, you get beat down because a lot of those guys. Like last week, um, I flew. We were gone all week. Uh, Colt and I were out doing our radio tour. I'm out on a radio tour promoting my new single. We were out. The guys took the bus to Florida. You know, they left the day before, cruised on the bus, slept nice. They were comfortable. We had been flying around. We were, I was in three states in less than five hours. So we got to Florida. I was done. I was beat. But, you know, I went in, took a nap, kind of relaxed a little bit. We went out and did the show. I got back on the bus and went to sleep. I signed autographs after the show. I, do, I try to do that everywhere we go. Sometimes time does not permit for me to do that. So if you ever come to a show that's not my show, if I'm working with another artist or I'm opening a show for somebody, they we only have a certain amount of time in between shows, you know, f for them to tear the stage down and put the other next band on or whatever. Um, if it's my show and I don't sign autographs, it either means I'm really sick or dead. Okay, uh, I will I will stand there and do it until everybody's gone, or at least until everybody's had a picture or an autograph or whatever they wanted. Okay. Um, and, and, and not because other artists, sometimes they can't do that because they might have to leave. So in, in that situation, um, you know, there's all, kind, there's all kinds of reasons they might not come off that, the bus. Another reason is there's a little bit of mystique about artists. You know, if you can't see them all the time, then that's kind of mysterious. And, oh, there he is, or there they are. Oh, my gosh, there they are right there. So I'm, I'm like I said, I, I'm not that person, you know. I'm, I'm just like you guys. I'm a normal guy, and I just, I, you know, I just have a really cool job. Well, thank you.
that the faith has not changed you? You're still a really down to earth type of person. Wait. Um, and, and I believe, and, that, and, and this might sound corny, I believe that growing up in the Midwest, uh, and, and, I, and I'll, we'll stretch the Midwest to, you know, Illinois, Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin. Yeah, I mean, but Mid, Midwest, Midwest people, I've, I've, I've found, um, are more grounded people. Uh, we're not as high strung, mostly. You know, we're, we are kind of laid back, and we are... We work hard, you know what I mean. That's what we do. That's where that's what Midwest values are to me. And and I mean, I, and, and I could be wrong. I, I mean, you know, I don't know. Um, you might talk to somebody else who might have seen me at Walmart, um, you know, doing something. And they're like, oh well, yeah, he didn't even look at anybody or what, you know what I mean. But I don't know. Um, uh, I had a lady. I was a price chopper, my wife and I, and we were grocery shopping. And a late, and I, I wasn't paying attention because I, I don't most of the time. And a lady comes up and she was standing, staring at me, and and I got the look from my wife. So I kind of looked and smiled. And she was like, you know what? That's why we love you. And and at first I was like, oh, okay, because I'm I'm buying hamburger at the store. It's good. It's good. All right. Hey. All right. Whatever. Uh, you're not vegan. That's perfect. Whatever. Uh, but she's like, you're a real person. You, you, and, and I didn't understand. And I thought, well, I was like, oh, oh, thank you. What the hell does that even mean? Where else are you going to buy groceries? But I guess, I guess for certain people, they, they see, oh, well, you're on TV. You know, you're some sort of celebrity kind of person, maybe. I don't know. But it doesn't, and, and my family and my friends keep me gra very grounded. Um, the other day. I was at home, and <laughs> yeah, 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 same day actually, same day. That very was that Tuesday, and um, my my wife, my wife, uh, I said something. I was tired or something, and she could, oh, she told me she was like, you have to you know go let the dogs out and blah 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 whatever. <laughs> And I, and I said something to the fact of being tired. And I was like, you know, and, and the next morning we did the 106.5 radio show. And I was like, man, I gotta get up early tomorrow morning too. And it was getting late or whatever. And my wife really, my wife is a lot cooler than I am. She she looked right at me the way she does. And like I'm stupid most time. But she looked at me and she, she just, she kind of stopped and she looked at me and then I kind of got it like, you know, oh yeah, sorry. She, she was like, really? Really? You're, you're going to bitch about that. Really? So yeah, my family keeps me very grounded. They, they won't let me, you know, my son makes fun of me. Uh, I'm still not cool to my kids. Uh, the fun, oh, funny story and I have a lot of them, but uh, my, my daughter, soon after the show, I was picking my daughter up from school, and I remember some little girls standing by my daughter at school, and they were all giddy and giggly, and they were all excited, right? And they were waving. So, now this is how dumb I am, right? I don't know. So I come up, and I see my daughter give me the look, like... So I got so you know they she opens the door and I was like hey and, and here they come right there's like three or four of them they come running up to the door and they were like staring so I'm looking for a sharpie so, obviously they want my autograph right I'm kind of cool no and my my daughter gets in and she was like dad Brittany whoever you know the, all the little girls names. They just want to know if there's any way that you could get Harry Styles autograph. <laughs> yeah, I was like, shut up, shut the door, get away from my car. No, no, it was, you know, so, yeah, my kids don't even think I'm cool. So, uh, so anyway, any other questions, anything else? Guys, I will say, Real quick, fellas, 
Britney Spears. Hold on. She's like train smoke hot, like hotter than donut grease hot, in case you were wondering. She is so much prettier in person than she is on TV. And that's all I'm going to say. All right, anyway. Can you turn around and do the Britney laugh? Huh? No. You did it on a video or an interview. I did? Yes. I have no idea. With Kirk and Chase, you did the huh. Britney grin. Don't remember that? Yeah. I don't remember how it went, but you did it perfectly. Oh, I, I, don't, I have no idea. Yeah, well, I just know she's she's smoking hot. And you said that. She told me she loved me. In fact, Pam Miller told me to inbox her that video yeah. so your wife could see it. Oh, <laughs> Britney said, right, it, when on my audition, she was... You know, they were talking to me and everything, and, and I don't remember all of it. But I remember she was like, she said something, and she was like, I love you. That's what it was. That's what it was. And I was like, yeah, I know. <laughs> so anyway, yes, ma'am, I know you. Did you raise your hand? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's part of the show. Yeah, yeah, it's all part of the show. Anything else? Just <laughs> um, well, right before they shipped them back, um, right before they went to get cellophane and all that on them, there was a box, a couple boxes full of them at Sony, so I had to go, and one day I was just signing so you sign every single one of them? Yes. And that's a lot that what he does on the bus. Yeah. A lot of times, yeah, art, and that's the other thing. Artists, we have, um, when, when it's a radio show or, or you're doing other shows, sometimes they're like for um, this organization that helped put it on or this or You know, they're like, can you sign these 15 pictures for these people? And they give me a list of names. So I pre-sign them in there. That way they might not be able to stay around for the until after the show. And things like that so a lot of artists do that and and um, that's what they're doing on the bus hanging out but other than that we just hang out and watch TV I've been watching deer hunting all day yeah how did it make me feel to see my name on the water tower? all right um, again again I mean I'm I'm just a normal person. I'm a, I'm you know and and I, I might say that a lot but it, it's true. I'm just like you. I, I mean I I do the same things that everyone else does. But so when when that whole thing went down I remember it, it was kind of funny cuz I'm standing there going are you kidding? <laughs> you know that's a lot of, well because I work for the city you know for for nine years and and i remember i worked at the water the water department for for three and a half years <coughs> excuse me or four years and and so i knew how much it cost to paint the water tower <laughs> and so i'm thinking wow this is it's a lot of money you know um and, and i know they raised money and they had people fun you know gift money and things like that but it, it's it's right it's it's hard to explain because I remember when I was a kid, we would go to see uh, my sister in Texas, and we'd drive through Oklahoma. And I was in high school, and I remember driving by. How many people have ever been to Moore, Oklahoma? Anybody Moore? You know where that is? You see their water tower? It says home of Toby Keith. Yeah, yeah. And if you drive down the road a little farther, you get to Yukon, Oklahoma. And on their big water tower, it says Mustang something, blah, 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 home of Garth Brooks. So I always thought that was cool. And I thought, wow, if you get your name on the water tower, then you've really done some things, right? You've done some things. That, that, that's really cool. So to have my name on that water tower, uh, it, it was, it's still very surreal. Everything, uh, ah, damn, I... Yeah, yeah. It's still that, you know. Yeah, it, but it is a constant reminder for me, um, and and that the people of that community and the communities around Belton thought that much of me. Well, I think that much. Um, to me, it's just a constant reminder not to suck. <laughs> really, I mean, it, there's a lot of pressure that goes with your name being on a water tower. 
there's a lot of pressure with those huge letters that, that spell out my name. So, although although it's it's very cool and it is it's pretty awesome, it's still very. I I, I don't even know the words, but it, it, yeah, it's 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 awesome. It's kind of fun when you're sitting in a restaurant or something and someone comes up and asks you the words and they want to know. That's really cool. So you I, know that. Yeah, I see people on Instagram all the time. Look what I just passed, and they have a picture of it, and and it's pretty neat. But um, and both yep. Both of the here. Put a sign and take pictures after the show. Okay. So we'll have a lot more time to take pictures, sign autographs, take them, do all that for you. Okay. And if you can't stay, if you can't stay till after the show, it might be late, too late, or whatever. Um, I know there's a few people that we want to kind of kind of get here uh, before we go back on the bus um, but um, if you can't stay um, please please know that I, I wish I wish you could see what I see um, so because it, it's the coolest it truly is the coolest thing. And Yeah. Yeah, and and uh, like I said, guys, I, I just I, I thank you so very much and uh, keep doing what you're doing. You know, keep it up because you guys are are the are the the nuts and bolts that keep the bus going. And you guys are the reason that I get to do this. So, like I said, I, I can't thank you enough. And uh, hopefully you can stay around until after the show. And, and I'll sign whatever. And we'll take pictures and things like that. I know there's a few people that we have to do now. Because I know they cannot stay. So, um, but anyway. Any other quick questions? What's that now? Well, here I, I've I've lived in this area for a long, long time, and I hunt just not too far down the road. Okay, if they could put fifty thousand people in Rich Hill, that would be a fit. That would be a feat, right? So I don't think there's going to be fifty thousand people here. I don't think we're going to have to worry about that. I think we'll have a good crowd. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I hope it's going to be a lot of fun for you guys because every time I walk up on the stage, I have the best time look like on the video. that I could have. So, yep. So anyway, thank you guys so very much. Thanks, guys. Hey. Hey. Uh, we're not going there. They're bringing it here.